Okay. Um, I am currently here, <clears throat> and you can't pick this destination. Um, route because there is no path here anymore they removed that a couple of years ago and it must be in the still in gps information um, but i picked this cul-de-sac that is right here so it's going to have to go out get on to uh, a busy road then get off a busy road and go into a cul-de-sac and we're going to see how well or poorly it does this is version 12.3.3. A little too slow here in a parking lot, but it doesn't understand parking lots very well, so we'll take a little as it little at a time. We'll see. I'd rather be cautious than you know, now version 11.4 or whatever would want to drive over there where all these lines are. And um, you notice it did not render that a dumpster at all. So far, it's doing an okay job, but it's really just following the navigation and. Now, it's slowing up here. It thought maybe that's a um, speed bump or a puddle. I don't know. Slowed up again here for that same thing, but no water there. I don't know. Now, of course, it comes to a complete stop. At pretty much where the stop sign is for some reason, and really hesitates even in parking lots and if you're in a parking lot probably you should be a little more a little less cautious or slow whatever I, you know i am not advocating speeding in parking lots or be faster, I guess. Whoa, where are you going? Wow, this is a major wrong turn. Now, let's put the right-hand blinker on. It somehow thinks that we are, I don't know where it thinks we are. Well, you're certainly not ready for prime time. He's trying to figure out how to get in to there, the destination. And the destination is on the other side of that fence. And, okay, you know now that you need to turn around. What are you doing? You just leaving me stranded here? Thank God this is a good neighborhood. Okay, well, uh, I'm going to jump in the front seat and I'm going to tap the accelerator. Please, Mr. Robo Taxi, please take me out of here. Take me home. I want to go over there. Now, do you understand that this is where we started out? Can you just not get that through your head? I'm going to pick this other path again and see if it can find out it's way out of this paper bag. Well, this, I know it's not supposed to drive very well in parking lots, but, you know, you shouldn't be giving this to people 
free or whatever for 30 days until it knows how to do parking lots or you need to tell them now I don't know maybe the version that they're going to give out free or whatever will have certain limitations that beta testers don't have but I don't know this all could be GPS error information again it's slowed up in the same place I know this has got to be a boring video it's boring for me I know oh yeah and slow up again okay I don't know what you're seeing here dude I Okay, again, we're coming to a complete stop. Thank goodness there is no one really in this parking lot moving. Okay, now it's speeding all up, and it knows it. No, no. I'm not going back that way. It continues to go in the wrong direction. We want to make a left-hand turn, and it wants to make a right-hand turn circular. Okay, the same destination uh, that's clear to the left. We're going where that car is going. Okay, and now we're going to edit this trip. Okay, we're going to edit the strip. We're going to add a stop, and we're going to go to here. And okay, let's see if you can get us out of here. It's good that it moved back over to the right side of the road. There is a car coming from the left, two, three, two or three cars, or multiple cars coming from the right. It cannot go. No. It could have, oh, no, it cannot go now from the left at all there's three more vehicles from the left and it's an opening oh no there's four or five vehicles five from the left one from the right if it goes it can go like hell tap the accelerator and that did a good job that did a great job there it really did a great job there I'm sure it's waiting on this vehicle because we're at a stop sign he's probably turning here yep little herky jerky there little herky jerky Nice that it slowed up for that, thinking that it was, you know, uh, like a big pothole. Um, well, that's good. I'm going to 
edit this trip. I'm going to add a stop. And, ooh, that was close. I'm going to let it keep choose. Yeah, <clears throat> it's going to choose this direction, but this does not exist anymore. It cannot drive there. So I'm going to see what it's going to do here. Our, again, our destination is here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Our destination is this cul-de-sac that's on the other side of that fence over there. Not that fence, but that fence up there. That fence. Uh, I'll tell you when we're abreast of the fence. It's way up here. We're here. And it thinks that there is an exit straight across here, and there is not. They have taken that away approximately two years ago. It was chained off prior to that on the other side of this fence right here. See where somebody else has already driven through there? Look at that. Wow. Okay, if you're Robo Taxi, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Okay, come on. I'm sitting in the back. Come on, I, I need you to go. I need to get home. Keep going. There is no path through there. I know you're trying to make that like it can go. Oh, okay. I put the blinker on telling it to turn that way. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to put the blinker on telling it to turn this way. It is actually clear from the left. Blinker is on to make the turn. Wow, that was nice. Although, I don't know why I had to help it do that. Okay, and now basically we're making a UV here. We're going to... I'm going to go ahead and tap the accelerator to tell it to keep... No, 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 no. Okay, navigate, press the accelerator to resume, which I am. And okay, I'm going to edit this trip and I'm going to remove Arrowhead, let it recalculate. You'll notice it's very careful around these people. It can identify all of them if you look at that visualization. It looks like it is clear from the right for a little bit, but after after one more car, it, if it goes, it needs to go. Oh, that was great. I like how it slows up or speeds up to get to the opening. Uh, behind, between cars to not to make the flow nicer. It really does a great job at that. 
great job. I used the blinker thinking it needed to do that. And this is slowing up because it thinks there's potholes and stuff there. So I think that's pretty remarkable. Though it didn't miss the, it did hit the real pot, pothole, but. Harder turn, harder turn, harder turn. Very good, very good. Okay. Okay, the visualization, notice the cars. Okay, it sees the median here. For a second, it thinks it's a truck, but other than that, it does not visualize or that dumpster at all. Okay, let's see if it slows up for the puddle again, or the whatever. Interaction with another vehicle is no issues. Stayed on its side of the road, even though it's unmarked. Although, it kind of sees this little uh, thing as a line, uh, the little tar. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, it's going to choose the correct one. Oh, no, it's not. See, this is weird. It, there's, <clears throat> there's a diagonal that goes in that direction, and it's closer, and we're going in that direction. But it's going to get confused again here, as it did before, I think. No. But it's going to go out here and make a left-hand turn. And I don't think a human would do that. We have multiple vehicles, including a green bus-like thing. That's the only opening, but there's not enough to go. Then multiple cars. One, two, three. At least eight cars, counting those cars there. So six more. I think there's another. Uh, we have four more cars coming from the left. It can't go now because there's a guy with a trailer, and after that it can go. However, I would have chosen to go out this diagonal right here that came out closer. We would be that, and we can see traffic that way, and from the side cameras, I don't know. I changed its routing. We're going to see if... Uh, why does it think it's 30 miles an hour here? It is not 30 miles an hour here. It's 40. Okay, notice it saw that person way back there.
timing is nice there. It nice gradual slow, but not too slow to make that turn nice, nice. I might just post this whole drive because it's it's a hodgepodge of everything in the sense of improvements and mistakes and issues and did you see that person? I thought for a second it saw the dog, but when I really looked I could never see it do it again, but I have to look at the video myself. Okay, and this is good because it's going to take us um, back away where it has to make a left-hand turn, but on a if it doesn't stay to the left-hand side, you block traffic, and most people are going straight where you're making a left, and that is not really acceptable to me. It it needs to hug the left in that circumstance to let people buy that are going straight or making a right-hand turn. I'm going to speed up a little bit here. We're coming up on the police station. I'm going to see if they're alert. Now, the problem is they might be alert on social media and say, oh, yeah, you're busted, you ask. I only doing for demonstrational purposes. You can see I'm bringing it right back down to the speed limit. Okay, here it's going to be good. It has to interact with a couple of vehicles because these two are um, need. Uh, well, it cleared itself. It cannot go because there's is a vehicle and there's a vehicle. After this, can go. There is a vehicle behind us, so he didn't even bother stopping. And again, this is version 12.3.3, and I don't know. I'm pretty impressed. I, the way the car feels when it's driving compared to the way it was with all previous iterations is. So so much improved, I cannot tell you. Uh, it's, it's hard to describe because I don't have accelerometers. Uh, Chuck Cook has a good um, Tesla FSD channel. Um, I, think, I think it's just Chuck Cook. Anyhow, um, oh, come on, don't take up the whole lane there. Well, we made it with the light being green, so... I don't know. It did a great job there, though. It was smooth. Uh, anyhow, Chuck Cook does have all of that information. I believe lateral acceleration. Uh, I believe he's a technician in uh, works for JetBlue. Anyhow, uh, his channel is a good channel. I like his channel. But he has that information. And... Um, I don't know. It just is a different feeling to the vehicle. The lines, the anticipation. Whoa. See, that would have freaked out out of FSD before. Freaked it out. But it was keeping track of all the, all the different vehicles, if you noticed. The blinker's on well in advance. The guy that was behind us is no longer behind us. He turned off right there. And here, it's going to go. It didn't slow up to a stop and then hesitate. It has really, really come a huge way from version 11. I mean, this is a huge improvement. And, you know, here, it just drove me really from a doctor's office uh, to here. And with a whole lot of stops in between and it did a great job and it was able to do it and that's all I can say thank you very much for watching you guys have a great day and I hope all is well bye